Over the course of the last few years, Huddersfield gang culture has exploded a multitude, so much so that news outlets are finally taking notice. This has in part been due to the recent passing of school teenager Kyrie McLean, who was only 15 years old when he was set upon by a group of teenagers and knifed outside the North Huddersfield School Trust on September 21st. Now, when crimes like these happen, we're supposed to gasp in horror, be shocked and appalled, and think to ourselves what the hell is going on when these incidents take place. But the sad fact about it is, this is routine now, it's come to be expected. So many younger children aspire to be exactly like the same people that are running their area, driving nice cars, wearing nice clothes, jewellery, watches, the people that hang outside the shops. Even charisma is infectious. And when these quote-unquote respected older people speak to these gullible teenagers and show them interests, these teenagers take to it like flies on you-know-what. One of the most notorious gangs in Huddersfield are the F Block, who also go by the name BDG and the F. Now the F Block has been around for decades and each generation has been worse and worse and worse and worse. And they've been involved in some serious criminal activity. Now because F Block were pretty much like any other gang, county lines of rap music were synonymous. They went hand in hand. And in order to be considered real and authentic, they rapped about their exploits namely having 14 and 16 year olds shipped to Blackpool to bed down in squatters for a few weeks before returning home and then coming back to repeat the process again and again and again. Now these teenagers were plucked from bad homes, homes where the parents didn't really give a damn about them. They were promised money and food and of course they had to do what they had to do in order to be put on by the gang. Now one of these young recruits from F Block was sentenced to four years for running through Huddersfield Town Centre and attempting to chase down his victim. The F Block member wore a balaclava and a Nike Tech tracksuit. Now the crazy thing about it was the F Block member's dad was actually a police officer. Despite the fact that the father and son did not get along, police and the courts immediately knew who this guy was. In court, the F Block member explained that their dad was abusive and this is why he had to run from the police because he had a strange relationship with the law. Now, when police raided the property, they found over 3k in cash stuffed in a Nike shoebox under the bed, as well as a bladed article and the same handgun that he used to chase down his victim. Thankfully, the guy was not shot. Now, the police hit an impasse in 2018 and they sought to speak to a judge in order to impose a gang ball on the F block. Now, that injunction meant that these gangs were not allowed to wear specific colours or wear bandanas or balaclavas on their heads. The injunction also meant that known members of F Block were not allowed to make contact or associate with one or another. Now, these were 79 people that were all documented and the police had reports on. They were not allowed to convene or talk to each other. F Block members were also not allowed in Huddersfield Town Centre, Dalton, Rawthorpe, Mould Green, Bradley, Breakin Hall. Far Town either, and they had to register with the police their home addresses. Now the reason why the F Block injunction was so important to the police was because F Town members had been involved in over 19 shootings that took place in Huddersfield Town Centre in 2018 alone. Police also says that F Town members were also involved in a stabbing and a shooting that took place in a barber shop in Birkby. Police also says that a white van was sprayed with red after a machete attack took place right in the streets to the shock and horror of witnesses, in which involved a 16-year-old boy and a 14-year-old again. But of course, as the generations go by, the crimes get worse and worse and worse, because after all, gang culture is glorified. Stay safe. Safe.